Hey there, it's Marlene Hillema. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the best lens for event photography. Let's go. If you're shooting corporate events or wedding receptions, it's great to have a small and simple setup so you cause less distraction. It's even better if you don't have to use a flash. Welcome back subscribers and if this is your first time here, hey, thanks for checking me out. I teach photography, photo editing, and I'm a huge fan of Lumix cameras. Now, a few years back, I shot tons of corporate events. In fact, corporate events were my bread and butter. I'm going to share my best techniques with you. I mostly went for the two to three person group shot, showing the social side of the event, because let's face it, no one cares what the room looked like, except the event planning company. People want to see themselves. I like to get close and engage with the people in my photos, make them part of the shoot. I don't just take overview shots or shots of people talking to each other and no way do I shoot people eating. I want to see people smiling and showing the boss how much they're enjoying themselves. My favorite kind of lens for shooting events is a wide but not too wide lens. My favorite is the Lumix 15mm f1.7 lens, and this is for a mirrorless camera. It's about a 30mm equivalent if you're shooting full frame. So why? Well, this lens is fast, and if it's fast, it will work well in low light, especially with a camera like the Lumix G9, which you can boost the ISO up really high. And if you can shoot without flash, you're going to cause way less distraction. And you know, that'll get you hired again. Because this is not about you, the photographer, and your big gear. This is about your client. In fact, I've shot many events with this small Lumix GM5. With this lens, really small, compact, easy, simple setup. You can blend right in with the crowd. When you blend in with the crowd, you're one of them and people don't think, you know, you're not that scary photographer with the big gear. That's really intimidating for people at events. Now I also have the Lumix 12 to 35 f 2.8 lens, and that's also good for event photos. However, it's not as bright as the 15 millimeter f 1.7. So the 15 millimeter can be used in lower light situations. And that can mean the difference between using a flash or not. So like I said, 15 millimeters is a 30 millimeter equivalent. And at that focal length, you're not going to get the distortion that a super wide angle lens has. For example, this 7 to 14 millimeter I have, when I use this at 7 millimeters, man, do I get distortion. You're not going to want to give people at your events big distorted heads. So even though this 15 millimeter lens isn't super wide, it still is considered a wide angle lens. And there's a couple extra things you have to keep in mind when shooting events with a wider angle lens. Of course, uh, with a wider angle lens, occasionally you get distortion, uh, especially the closer you go to your subject. So what you want to avoid is placing the VIPs of your event uh, in, a, in a part of the frame where they could be distorted, like at the edges of the frame. So what you want to do is put them closer to the middle of the frame. And if you find that there still is some distortion, just step back a step or two so that you're farther away from them and you'll get less distortion. You can always crop the image after the fact. And usually with these sort of uh, photos, you don't actually have to worry about making poster size prints because what's happening is they're often used for social media or small prints in the company brochures and things like that. So don't worry about cropping because you can definitely take a large image where you step back and crop to the middle portion of the shot and there'll be less distortion in the middle. Okay, so that's an extra little tip. Don't be afraid to crop. Now this lens has great focus. And if you have your subjects all in the same focal plane, you won't have a problem. But if you're shooting wide open at f1.7 and you find that the back row of people are not sharp, all you got to do is take one step back and you'll instantly get better depth of field. So that whole second row will be in focus too. That's just how optics work. If you want to learn more about that, check out this video I got for you. Now this lens has a similar field of view to what you're used to seeing on your cell phone. So what does that mean? Well, you'll be able to take arm's length selfies just like you're used to doing with your cell phone. So if you're looking for a small, nimble setup for your next wedding reception or event, 
Test out the Lumix 15mm 1.7 lens for your mirrorless camera. Let me know what you think in the comments below.